Uh, I continue my, my attempt to give a broad Hegelian view um, <clears throat> of the conflicts between national socialists and Jews, starting with the French Revolution to today. And uh, I stopped in my first video to the birth, the ideological birth of national socialism, and I showed the older in broad outline because I'm not a historian, but to, to just to, to remind you the broad picture which which led to the birth of national socialism and all the contradictions that it attempted to solve and, and, and uh, the, the whole movement of the historical process in the 19th century with the main ideological economic events. <clears throat> of course, I, I, I simplify to the utmost because like I said, I'm not a historian, I'm just trying to, to show the broad picture because to be a Hegelian means to to grasp the totality in its self-movement. Uh, Hegel is, is it's, it's a totalitarian view and, and a totalitarian understanding of reality. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, 1933, Hitler rises to power. And um, Hitler wanted to form an alliance with Britain and Italy. And for him, it was a personal tragedy to, to have to, to be at war with Britain because in his worldview, uh, he, it was the closest ally of Germany, not, not only in blood, but also uh, geopolitically, economically, and he was a bitter enemy of France. But he, he wanted to unite uh, politically with, with, um, with, with Britain. And <clears throat> there have been books written... Uh, to show that, that Hitler made peace attempts uh, to prevent the war with Britain. And uh, we all know in, the, <laughs> in our history classes and, and the daily news and the, and the, the movies and, and, and the books which are published every day, hundreds of books are published about national socialism and how it's horrible and all that. So we, we know the, 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 the aspects given by civic society, but you have to be a Hegelian, you have to take both sides of the equation, so to speak, in consideration. You have to look at both sides because a Hegelian view is, is beyond uh, left and right, beyond, uh, beyond opposites. It's the unity of both. <clears throat> so an interesting book is The Lightning and the Sun by, by Savitri Devi, in which she, <clears throat> she gives her view of, of the the, 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 the attempt of, of, of the National Socialists to, 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 to keep a certain peace and, and to prevent the war because they needed, it was not out, out of altruism because in her view, uh, Hitler wanted time and, 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 and uh, stability in order to develop his own ideology and he had no uh, interest in, in bringing about a world war because he wanted to reinforce and to strengthen the, the new ideology. So it was it was a time of, of crisis and tragedy and yeah and um, <clears throat> the the book published by Hitler in 1924 uh, survived spiritually by being read and studied and influencing and, 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 and being admired by Savitri Devi, George Lincoln Rockwell and then William Pierce which are the main figures of, of post-war, National Socialism, the, the, those who kept the, the idea alive in a way. And um, after the Second World War, there was the Cold War, the, the, the world had split into two uh, capitalist democracy on the one hand and, and, and communist on the other, and it was the, the relative balance between both um, the USSR and, and the, the free world. And then all political, geopolitical life was, was determined by the conflict, which was in a state of relative tension, but relative peace. There was, there was moments of high tension, but the peace remained stable. And all the countries were, were, were forced to take side, except some of them who adopted a third way, some African or South American countries, which wanted to, to emancipate themselves from the influence of the both of, of both the, the giants of politics and geopolitics. Yeah. And, Starting in the 1950s and especially 60s, there was a, the, the birth of a, of a strongly anti-white movement within the white countries. And it's easy to say, oh, it was an ethnic minority which brought about 
hatred of whites, which is partly true, but it must be acknowledged that whites of, of the post-war generation, those who had been born during the war or after the war, and when they grew in their 20s, uh, in the 1960s, uh, with the, 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 the hippie and the, the leftist revolutionary uh, generation, they were influenced by all the ideas of the past, and, and they, they, they adopted and adapted and adopted the, the, the ideas of the past and reconsider them to try to solve the contradiction of the present. And, and, and they, they negated the ideas of their forefathers and their ancestors, and they wanted peace and brotherhood and, 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 and free love and, and, and a cultural revolution. And this is the birth of, of, of cultural Marxism to, to acknowledge the failure of, of, of historical Marxism, because they were becoming lucid about the state of, of Soviet Russia. And then the, 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 the economic failure and the, the, the inherent failures of Soviet Russia, even at the peak of its power, they some of them knew that in, internally it was it was poverty and oppression and, 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 and the gulag and stuff like that. So uh, we saw the, the birth of, of, of a new ideology, which was not uni unitary, unified yet, but it was the birth of the the cultural Marxist movement, which was not necessarily conscious of itself, it was an unconscious expression of spirit or reason, so to speak, and an anti-white movement in all spheres of life. Morally, the white started to, to, to promote self-guilt and shame and, 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 and remorse and, 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 and self-hatred. Culturally, white culture, which had never thought itself as white, it was Western culture becoming be, became and started to doubt itself and to negate itself and to wish to abolish itself uh, economically uh, with the, 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 the rising inequalities between the, the first world and the third world um, and, and will, a will to, to equalize the, the living conditions of the third world to help them develop, to, 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 to ask for forgiveness for colonization, which in the mind of these people had brought um, uh, had brought misery and oppression, but at the same time, if one is true, it had brought a tremendous demographic uh, outburst of, of life. Uh, there were demographic chains when, when white demography reached its peak with the, the baby boom, as it's called in, in, in Europe, uh, white ceased to have children because of the, the rising economic prosperity, because of the, the loss of religious faith, because of the, the, the moral self hatred because of many reasons, because of the, 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 the pill, the contraceptive pill, because of the, 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 the condoms, the use of condoms simply, uh, because they just wanted to have a hedonistic and, and enjoyable life and having children means you have to care for the children, which is a sacrifice and it, it, it reduces your leisure time and it, it's, it's economically costly. So when, when, uh, um, the, 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 the economic, that's some sort of dialectical irony, and it's dialectical. When, when economics was at its peak, demographics started to, to fall down, and, and a society which does not reproduce itself is bound to disappear. And uh, yeah, and uh, white started to become, it, it would take many decades, but the, 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 the germs, the, the, the embryo was already there and so ju just had to go through its development that uh, whites started to be, to be resented and to be hated by whites themselves. So there was a, a self-hatred within the white classes uh, of higher society. And, and the, the darlings of the left in the 1950s, which was the white working class, although the left did not think of them as white working class, but objectively because the working class was white and the left defended the working class, they defended white workers. And the, 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 the darlings of the left in the 1950s would become the demons of the left in the, 19, in the, in the 2010s, because today the working class, the white working class is accused of being fascistic, nationalist, uh, homophobic, racist, and they have all the ills of the world, and that's a dialectical change. Today, the left hates the white working class. Um, and another de Hegelian dialectical trick is that anti-racism, because it is against racism, it, it contains racism within its own concept, in its logical development, has to become 
anti-white ideology. It's it's a logical uh, a logical uh, necessity, and more and more today, the anti-racists are, are simply anti-white. They don't want to abolish racism. They want to promote racial pride within the non-whites and to abolish uh, white uh, pride and, and even white existence among whites. So that's that's a Hegelian process. Uh, so another another um, expression of dialectics is that the, 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 the this this anti-white ideology which is pervading in the modern West forces white to search for understanding for a sense of, of belonging and a sense of identity a sense of identity and they are already on the <clears throat> path which I called the phenomenology of the European mind and I made videos about it I will put the link uh, in, in the description if you're interested and um, in in this um, intellectual process of seeking identity, belonging, understanding, a sense of a higher sense of self, they will discover that the entire system, what they call the system in the West, is a, a, a coherent whole, a coherent totality, because all aspects of political life and, and cultural life, all spheres of of, of spiritual life in a way are interconnected and in a coherent unity with one another they all promote this implicitly uh, anti-white ideology um, the banks the universities the academia the school system the media the the private companies and businesses and, and the advertisements in, in advertisement we see what is considered from the white point of view as being anti-white ideology uh, Hollywood movies political parties um, the government, the legislative, the law, and, and this path of the negative that the white consciousness begins to, 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 to start, begins to, to, to be uh, drafted into, will give, will give the consciousness a view of, of society as, as a coherent totality. And it is only when you are in the, in, the, in the position of the negative that you can see the whole. And when you are the negative, you are alone against the whole world. That's why it's not pleasant to be the negative. And, and those whites seeking for, for, for understanding and consciousness, when they, when they, when they will um, find themselves in a position of, 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 um, um, of being alone with their few white nationalist friends against the whole of the modern life, they will have a Hegelian experience of, of, of viewing the totality from the point of view of, of the negation of the, to the totality, because Hegel says that if you see evil all around you, you are the root of all evil. And yeah, and um, yeah, I will stop there for now. So it was a, these two videos were a, a broad Hegelian view. Hegelian means the view of the totality and to grasp the inner contradictions within the real which bring about the movement of the real and to grasp the, the whole with, within its internal development which is brought about by the inner negativity contained within the whole it is that which forces all movement, all changes in a dialectical interaction that things turn into their opposite and, and this is how life of spirit unfolds and, and if you have a Hegelian view you must understand the whole and it's self-initiated movement. So you have to understand how things are interconnected and how they dialectically interact with one another. And on this limited topic, from the French Revolution to modern Western world in terms of, of nationalism and, and, and anti-nationalism, I try to give a broad vision to, to set you in a mood of, of understanding higher truths. That was just the, the purpose of this video and, and the, previ the previous one.